to come out. Oh. Wow, that is a very deep. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So unfortunately we have a problem with a heifer. She went lame about a week and a half ago. Catherine got her in last week to have a look at her foot and she found that there was a bit of a build up of cow poo on the side of her foot which was rubbing against her foot and she believed that that was causing her to be lame. Her foot did start to swell up and so quite rightly so, Catherine started her on a course of antibiotics and some pain relief and so she got better for a short while and uh, the swelling went down but unfortunately she is still lame and she's starting to go a little bit worse now so sometimes it requires a second look and quite often when you pick the foot up for the second time the problem is a little bit more obvious so fingers crossed we can find the root of the problem today if we can't then i'm afraid it's gonna have to be a vet job or a foot trimmer to come in and have a look at her so as i always start these videos just sharpen my knives up. As you can see, the ropes and everything is prepared for her to come up and start trimming her foot. Next job now is go and fetch the heifer, get her in, and let's have a look. Come on, let's go. You alright, girly? Quite a bit of pain, aren't you? It's very sore. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. She doesn't want to put any weight on that heel, does she? No. Come on, girl. So what jabs has she had, Catherine, so uh, she far? She's had um, two lots of beat-em-ox. Two lots of beat-em-ox. It worked the first time and then it's just yeah. took the edge off over bank holiday. And what pain relief has she had? She's had Metacam. Yeah. Well, the swelling's gone down anyway, that's, yeah. for, that's for sure. But obviously, uh, clearly it's still a problem, so. <laughs> This is where any foot trimmer that watches this video will be going out of their mind. The yellow bucket. <laughs> Not allowed to use the yellow bucket. Really. The last time she just had an infection along the hairline. Yeah. And it's cleared up now, luckily. But yeah. It, yeah. it was just around here at the front. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Hey. Causing a lot of pain, that's for sure. Easy girl, come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. What's going on? Something there, isn't there? Yeah, it's cracked. Is that, is that something stuck in the floor? 
I'm gonna go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that a little tiny little stone or something? Something, something that shouldn't be in there, anyway. Let's just um, let's see if we can open this up a little bit. I think there's a couple of stones in there. I'm just running through the yard. Another stone there, look. So it's got a lot of st st stuff just stuck on the side of the foot, mm. so. Just those stones though isn't it enough to make it that lame. Yeah. There's got to be something else that's, you know, those stones could have caused a further issue, but I'm thinking there's going to be some possible there. Yeah. Yeah. What do we have now? Are you ready? Boom! That is. That feel a lot better now, do I? God, that was a relief, wasn't it? It's going to be really sore around here. I can see the cavity a little bit more. Boom! There's more. You're going to feel a lot better after this, girl. Believe me. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's gonna open right up, isn't it? Yeah. And it keeps coming. Oh, got some in the face. Oh, oh the joys. Yeah. yeah. Better move back. No, come around this side, Kevin. Oh, I'm gonna get it on. Thanks. Right, here we go. It keeps coming, Catherine. Keep, get, keep getting this, this is pure entertainment, isn't it? That is good. Some hell of a cavity. Yeah, so basically I can now feel where it like where the hole is, where that cavity is. Mm. Just because I can feel the, the horn moving, you know, around here. So I've got a good idea as to how deep I need to be going with this. So if I can get my knife in that crack there. It's been quite painful for her, but here it comes. And there is the hole. God, that's a deep one, that. Wow. That's definitely needing a block. Gee. Yeah, that's definitely needing a block. In fact, oh, we should, like in fact, we should get that block on fairly soon, shouldn't we? Yeah. I've just got time to say. Wow, that is a very deep cavity, that. I think the antibiotics have worked. Yeah. Well, those antibiotics would have stopped this infection from going any further. So, that it was definitely the right thing to do. It would have been a lot worse without. The question is how far it goes down here. I can get my finger right in. <coughs>
You just leave that now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah leave that for the next time. It seals it up. And there you go, so. Just gonna get very sore. And there we go, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure really if if those stones have caused this problem. No. I think I think those those stones are probably just stuck into a crack. That that this problem has, has created. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can see everything that's exposed there. Looks like a right horrible mess. She's gonna be feeling a lot better now though. So still under on going down that part of the foot there. If it's not attached, it needs to come off. I suppose a bit more. Just gonna just take the hat down here as well. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, it's all exposed there, that's all the flesh. This is going to need another check on, mm. you know, it's not going to be just a fix from this one trim, but all this stuff that I took off around the top here was very fleshy anyway, mm. you know, so it's, it's going to bleed a little bit, isn't it? Oh, we're still going, is it? Yes. Still a bit of height there. A bit black there on the toe. Oh, there it depends on that. Yeah. What does the iodine do, Drew? Uh, so we just use the iodine for the disinfectant, as a, as a disinfectant. So, because it's an open wound now, we want to just disinfect it and just make sure that I haven't got any dirty contaminants in it from my very clean bucket. Uh, so then, clean it off so it's nice and clean now. And then we've got, first step is antiseptic spray. Or antibiotic spray. Do that. Next is some copper paste just to kill off any potential digi that might be attacking it. And then we just use a piece of tissue to comfort the wound a little bit. And then we're going to use a wrap. And hopefully, the wrap then keeps it dry. And there we go, I'm sorry. So we're going to leave this wrap on for a couple of days now, um, maybe about three days and then take it off before it starts going a little bit gammy in there. That's it all coloured up, good stuff. Right, let's get her down, see how she stands on it and we'll give her some pain relief. And get her back, hopefully uh, we can fix this foot in a couple of weeks she'll be back down the fields with her mates. Metacam is what we're going to be using. Uh, we like to use it because it's super effective and it lasts for up to four days. So that should see a. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's going to need a new block on. 
But that should see you until after the weekend. So we're going to give it that now, and we'll have to replace that block. So obviously that block came off straight away. Uh, so we have replaced it with a shoe. So hopefully it's still on now. So hopefully it stays on for a couple of weeks. And then we'll have another look at the fort and just see how she's healing up. But as of now, we're just walking her back into the shed. She is putting a bit more weight on it, which is already a good sign. Look at her go now. <laughs> she's speedy, the speed demon. And that is what I like to call job well done. She seems a lot happier in herself and so if she's happy, I'm happier. And that brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment and I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, goodbye.